hello 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 oh my gosh i saw that we got raided from freestyle coder hello welcome to uh ui wednesdays i'm here today with a very special guest as you can see my sister madison robinson or at casual snacks on twitter hi and so we're sharing a mic today first time i'm doing this setup so let me know if we need to speak up but thank you for the raid so much. Uh, Maddie is actually new to Twitch. So a raid means, and I've actually gotten this question multiple times before. So whenever people are done with their channel, they can raid another channel and it's basically like passing off their viewers. So Ooh. welcome to our channel. This is Code It Live on uh, UI Wednesdays. I usually talk about really anything UI or UX related. Sometimes we'll do CSS challenges. Sometimes we'll just code along with whatever Angular app I'm working on. But today I thought it'd be really, really, really fun to bring on Maddie and we could talk about what she's doing. So um, me and my husband actually went to Full Sail University and that's what she's attending right now. Uh, we got our degrees in web development and design, but you're doing graphic design. Graphic design. Yes. And so there's actually quite a bit of overlap with that. Um, where I was learning design things. And now this month, guess what she's learning? It's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> HTML, CSS. And are you doing JavaScript this month? Yes. 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 Okay. So, so far, you've only touched HTML and CSS? Yeah. Okay. It's already a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually been so fun, uh, like, going through your homework with you and seeing, like, what you're learning because it's like a, a long distant memory of like, oh, the first time you learn what a div is. Like it's so precious and new. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, so I always like to kick off streams by saying, hi, everyone. We're in Kansas City. It's 2 p.m. here. Uh, so what time is it? And where are you at in the world right now? There's my favorite dev ed kit. Hey, Salt, that is Chris. He's a good friend. I don't know if you sent me your address yet on Twitter, but if you haven't, you need to send it to me and I'll get you some posters that I owe you. 3 p.m. Detroit. Awesome. I think I think Salt is talking about me. Mm. <laughs> I'm flattered, but you're you're his that. you're his favorite <laughs> dev advocate. <laughs> My sister's sassy. Uh she's at casual snacks on the Twitter is just getting started. So if you need some sass in your life, follow her. Right, right, right. Uh thank you, Salt. I'll make sure you get your posters from Monday. Um, but yes, welcome, welcome. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to share what he's saying, because if you're watching on the YouTubes, you don't see the comments from Twitch, but free, uh, sorry, I shared the wrong one. And uh, yes, I said my favorite dev advocate sister. He's sassy. Freestyle, where are you at in the world? Hi. Is it pod, potty, pod I, I think literally going to butcher it. Pody man. Pody man. Thank you. Look up. Look up. Look up. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Toronto, 3 p.m. I hear it's gorgeous there. Oh, man. And Freestyle's in Huntsville, Alabama. Nice. Are they the same time zone as us? I have no idea. We're central. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, if you were like, ask me where Alabama no. is, I'm like, north? That was a question on my homework last week, and I had to Google it. I was like, what time zone is Missouri <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh central okay cool cool hi from birmingham alabama you've got like a lot of alabama peeps yeah. uh, uh you want to you want to pronounce that one for me a la program <laughs> oh yeah i love you all that's very special um okay so anywho uh so you so far in your degree how far into it would you say you're halfway oh i'm at the i'm at the ending stretch i have five months left so. so Full Sail is unique in that every month, um, it's two years, right? It's a four-year degree squ yep. squished down into, into two. two years. And it's like each class is a month long. Mm. So Well, and don't you do like usually like two – doesn't the program usually have like two classes per month? Mm -hmm. Occasionally, yeah. If it's an easier class, they'll pair up two and it's <laughs> – He's How do you say it again? <laughs> I can't even – uh Podiman? yeah he said that you like got a it. podium like that you stand at you think so okay i that's how it's spelled i don't know i'm like body uh, no yikes so for those of you who have never heard of full cell university uh yeah it's a bachelor's degree at least the one that both of us got squished down into two years and it's around the clock school so sometimes like when i was like there it would be like 
teach a 2 a.m. class, legit, yeah. like, or lecture, and that was just your class. So it's around the clock school, but it's two classes per month, and it's, like, 40 hours a week, I think, yeah. of work, or yeah. more, sometimes 60, depending on the class, but. Yeah, it's full-time. Um, but, yes, yeah, so, oh, oh, my gosh, Larissa said that my nephew attends full cell. That's awesome. Do you know what degree program he's in? I was in web dev, and Maddie's in graphic design, mm-hmm. so. Um, and, of course, as we were talking uh, there's some overlap. And so this month, yeah. whenever she was like learning web dev, I was like, what you, what you learning? I like, said, my login, get it done. <laughs> I was just so Don't excited. <laughs> my husband was like, I hope- Video game dev. oh, game dev. Oh, my, no. my husband was in game dev. And then he like tapped out after like two months. He was like, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Salt said, when I wanted to go back to school after I dropped out of college in 2004, I was thinking of full cell, but never went through with it. Yeah, I'm really glad I did it. Uh, you? It's, yeah, I mean- but like they should sponsor me and pay my loans. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's worth it. It's oh worth my it. gosh. So on my first month of being at full sale, I was working at a coffee shop. And a guy saw that I was working on some homework and he was like, do you want to work for my company? And I was like, I just started this month. And he was like, yeah, but you're going to full sale, right? And I was like, I just started this month. So Didn't Zach, my husband, turtle guy, didn't he try to get you a job last month? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, job offer. and you were like, um, I'd like to graduate like, first. Guys, I, I, love, I love you all. <laughs> Uh, so, so far before now, you said you're in the home stretch, like five ish months left Yeah. before now, cause you're learning web dev. What did you learn? Like what, oh. have, what have you gone through with graphic design? Probably around six to seven different Adobe softwares. Um, so they should call it like the Adobe degree. Yes. <laughs> the creative cloud degree. Um, we dived into all of those and how to use those just on a huge range. So. Okay. We know the inside and outside of those softwares. Is, is there like one that's like your fave that you're like, I want to live yeah, in? Yeah, it's the first one I learned and I'm a sucker for it because it's what? the easiest. What? Mm-hmm. Which one? Yeah, Illustrator because it's so easy and I my least favorite is Photoshop. So <laughs> even though they're very similar, but <laughs> anytime I have Photoshop news, they go to my brother-in-law. I'm like, come here. Uh, hey, turtle guy. He's in the chat. I love your antlers. Thanks. We were festive. They actually jingle. Can you hear you? Oh, they do. <laughs> Yours jingle too. <laughs> I don't know if you can we hear. Like we have Christmas cheer though. It's. I hope it's radiating to you. We didn't make them. Um. Sorry, Goro. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He said, "Really? What? If you love me, why did you break my heart at Taco Bell? I ha- what did you do? I don't. <laughs> you're gonna have to give me more context. There's a lot of Taco Bell stories in my life." <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes. Speaking of that cheddar chalupa. Okay. Right. So we had my husband and I, my baby, our one year old, I will gladly give more context. I'm scared. (laughs) I'm so scared. I really don't know where this is going. Uh, My husband and I had a lunch date yesterday and I don't want any judgment from any of you, but we... (laughs) What happened? <laughs> we went to Taco Bell and got two cheddar chalupas and ate them, and that was our lunch date. <laughs> Why are you so ashamed of that? <laughs> I don't even know you anymore. Dang it, Goro, give me a name. I need to know. Yes, I have a baby. His name is Mr. Milks, and he's going to learn programming too, like my sister. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm learning it. But... Turtle, turtle guy was like, Turtle guy was like, you're gonna, you're gonna fall in love with web development, right? I know. He was like, you're going to switch degrees, right? I'm like, oh, two more years? Yeah, sure. Two more years in school? (laughs) Okay, listen, Larissa, listen. She said my stomach hurts just hearing that. Um, It was just one chalupa. It wasn't like I went to town on, like, a pound of Taco Bell, right? Like, I just had a chalupa. It's 490 calories. the soft ones? Yeah. But they the the cheddar chalupas have, like, crunchy cheese on the outside. fried cheese. Yeah. It's encrusted on the... Taco, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Taco Bell does hurt, but sometimes it's so worth it. Oh, uh, Salt said I smashed six McRib- McRibs within the past four days. Legitimately, I saw on TikTok, TikTok, and I like went into the bathroom and I was like, Zach, the McRib is back, and he was like, <laughs> you can see where they've like molded the meat into okay. the little mold because one time I saw like the like 
there's engraved writing on those molds that say like this side up or whatever. And you could see it on the meat because they press it into the mold. And then. Oh, my gosh. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's good for you. Wait. Okay. So you told me. Sorry. We're going to like pivot back. You told me that Illustrator was your favorite. Because is it because of SVG? No, it's just it's beautiful. <laughs> like it's just so easy. And also, I like creating. I mean, I don't like plugging in, plugging in content and trying to skew it and do this and do that with it. I mean, you can do that with Illustrator, but that's mainly a Photoshop thing. <laughs> but I like creating stuff from scratch, and it's easy to do it on illustrator so just like it 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 speaks your language like whenever you go and open up it's easy to do things i know every time every time we have an assignment they're like you can use whatever you want just create this logo or this or whatever and i'm always like illustrator (laughs) it's not hard it's the first one we learned too (laughs) it's like yeah i love it um so let's see i want so i'm trying to think of make sure i don't forget all the things i wanted to talk to you about so um Would you say, because I've actually heard of people who like, because you talked about getting job offers, Mm -hmm. and I've actually heard of people who like dove into like working. Like I was actually the last one to get hired in my class at Full Sail. Oh, yeah. Uh, There was five, I think, I know it's super small class size. There was like five of us by the end. And I got offered a job, the job that I ended up taking like a month before I graduated. Everyone else in my class had already gotten hired. Right. So do you think, like, at what point would you be like, yeah, like, let me, let me tackle that. Like, is, are you, <laughs> cause I know some people are like, I need to finish. And then right. other people are like, who cares? I think, I think anything starting in 2021. So next month I could see myself if it was like, if somebody <laughs> was like here and I, you know, I'm the type to jump in, even if I don't know everything, because that's the best way that you're going to learn. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind starting something before finishing college. Mm. So, but I think my my start would be 2021. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted by Goro's is this uh, a, story. Some, is this real? I don't know. I'm a little confused. You can let me know if it's real. <laughs> do they live in Kansas City? Because that's the only way. 2018. Leave. What year is it? We're in 2020. So two years ago. Was I in Kansas City or Orlando? No, you're here. We've been here for two years. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this got I, I I don't know. I, I don't see you throwing anything. I don't remember throwing a burrito. If you do, it would not make it where you were trying to make it go. It'd be okay. She knows me really well. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so let's. Uh, I want to. I want to preface this with. I got a lot of like. Not anger. I don't know what a slightly lesser word. Vengeance. No, <laughs> people were upset when I was like, "We're gonna do your homework together." I don't know why they were upset. Who? People on the Who's internet. <laughs> was it that Bill hater? Thank you, thank you, Larissa. She said. Then Voldemort walks in and blows up the Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. It is quite the novel that's unfolding, and I apologize, Goro, if I knew you and threw a burrito at you, but I don't remember this, and it wouldn't be, I wouldn't put it past my my brain to forget something. <laughs> Skin grafts, but definitely not. If that's the case, she should be sued. <laughs> Madison, you're not helping. Okay, so anyways, we are, I'm not going to do her homework for her, people, uh that's so, done yeah why are we hating <laughs> but we're gonna pull up what she was working on and just kind of walk through it and um we had a really cool conversation that I wanted like go recreate earlier oh no <laughs> about kind of like html css javascript and like things that are built on top of those and I would love for the chat to like throw out their questions for Maddie she's like literally fresh off the press is just learning html and css and we're gonna kind of look at some of the things that she's yeah. doing right now and just talk about it and I think one of those things one of the really weird things is and I think it's because like they should rename your degree from graphic design to Adobe like you're de- yeah. you just you're getting a degree in Adobe that'd be nice <laughs> because literally guess what they have her class programming in like just oh. <laughs> like okay first person who guesses it gets a prize I will mail you a prize oh. but guess guess what they're it's it's I'll give you a clue it's not VS code which is what we'll be in today. Dreamweaver. Ah! <laughs> okay, so <Next> guess. guess. <laughs> oh, I guess it's because it's Adobe. Is that how you got it? I'm like, yes, how did he yes. get it so fast? 
It's in the creative cloud. I'm just <laughs> yeah, Chris, I'm going to throw in something extra with your posters because, uh, yeah, they're doing it in Dreamweaver. And whenever she showed me her, she was showing me her markup and I was like, what's this? You're like, what are you working in? What What is this? And she goes, it's Dreamweaver. And I was like, why? <laughs> this is the dream. <laughs> How they use it in high school. Oh, Maybe really? It's just so simple. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know it's, why it's most generic. schools use it. Okay, I'm going to pull up desktop, desktop, desktop. Dreamweaver. It's the uh, great value for okay. coding. We're going to open this in. Sorry, guys. Uh, I think VS Code. I was going to, I was going to do VS Code. Um, let's just do it. We're just going to do it. All right. So, Maddie, tell us a funny full self story while I open this code. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag no pressure. Hashtag um, nothing funny about full sale except for the loan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. College loans, right? I was actually talking to my friend who's like, I think he's 10 years older than me, and he's like, still paying them off. How about you? <laughs> Honestly, though, it's not that bad because – I'm online. I'm not an in-person student, so it's cheaper. And because of COVID, everybody went online. So I'm kind of getting the greater deal because they're still having to pay that higher price. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Because they're, <gasps> Even if they're, they're an on-campus student. Oh, no way. <laughs> so honestly, if we would have yeah. if we would have moved to Florida and I would have gone to full sale, I would have been paying the higher price and still being online. And still have been on. The- wow. So can't hate. Can't hate there. All right, we are going to share, I'm going to actually put this Twitch bud back here and this there, rearranging desktop, bear with me, and we are going to show what she's been working on, and let's share our screen. We're just going to share the whole screen, and we're going to make this that big, and everybody gets to see everybody's comments this way. Uh, So we're streaming right now to not only Twitch, but YouTube as well. Um, so if you're on YouTube or if you're on Twitch, you wouldn't be able to see each other's comments otherwise. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, okay. So here is what they're working on and I'm going to open in Chrome. How do I do it? Copy path. I'm going to copy the path and just go to Chrome and open it in Chrome. Oh, it's so sexy. You see what I mean? (laughs) I love it so much. So here's my favorite part. This PNG with like all of the, hang on, we're going to like. I picked that hex myself. <laughs> look at look at the like aliasing here. Uh, uh, I can't, oh, wait, did you make this? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he gave us images. It was just the logo. I swear. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it like, was so, I'm going to be like. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I made an illustrator. <laughs> Didn't I do good? Uh, quiet down, quiet down, turtle. Yeah, quiet down, rude. Okay, so we have. I'm gonna move this to like that. I think that's okay. Let us know if we need. I can like zoom the code a little bit, but like once it gets so big, like we can't even read it anymore. So, um, so walk us through what you've built so far, please. Oh Thanks. my goodness, I don't even know what I've built so far because <laughs> we didn't. That's not the home page, is it? Uh, Alyssa knows things. This Index. is indexes. Yeah. I thought I thought so. Did you have multiple HTMLs? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, we're on here. Mm-hmm. Walk. Uh, let's look. I mean, let's here's look. the thing. Let's sneak a peek. Looks like you've created so far. Last I walked away from you when you were doing your homework, you were working on link tags. Yeah. Yeah, we did for our style sheets because we just introduced this week CSS because we were just doing HTML stuff last week, mm-hmm. and so. Yeah, we had to create a bunch of links. We had to, oh. <laughs> Great 1996 website. Hey. <laughs> that's when I was born. Oh, that's. <laughs> Don't make fun of that year. It's better than 2020. <laughs> um, and then, okay, so you learned about plugged link, in, yeah, link learned, tags. Learned links, learned how to plug in images. Mm-hmm. Um, well, then also. Oh, in the learning- comments. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know why those were the hardest thing for me, but they were. So if that's the hardest thing I have to encounter, yeah, well, that's pretty good. So he, he he kept, your teacher kept having you create these comments. And yeah. that was, I thought it was a really unique, like, way of teaching something. So he 
continues to make sure that they and I'm gonna actually zoom out so that it looks a little bit more normal. So are you talking about? Wrapping. Are you gonna talk about the spacing? We, we need uh, yeah. to discuss that as well. Yeah. So uh, there is, like, as teachers, yeah. like, I see them safeguard students from themselves, from mistakes yeah. they're going to make. And so whenever he has them create a new document, he'll be like, all right, class, let's do something in the body. And he's like, now I need you to go ahead and add about 5,000 <laughs> lines <laughs> and then scroll back up to the right. top. And then you can start adding your markup here. <laughs> and like every time I see it, I just crack up and mm -hmm. I see what they're, I know why he's doing this. Why did you watch me not do it and then mess up? Yes, <laughs> because the one time that you didn't add a million lines, you were like, here's my body. <laughs> And then you were like, all oh, my new stuff. <laughs> and then you look over at me and you're like, didn't I do good? <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, that's why he has you doing that. Um, so, no, I get it. I get why he, so sometimes whenever you're learning something new, you might be looking at like a teacher or a class or a course and you're like, why are they having them do it this way? Especially because if you don't know, if you don't know anything what you're doing, and it all just looks jumbled and it's all close together. Yeah. So like, I, I won't disrespect the spacing, but maybe not as much spacing. <laughs> <laughs> it because was, I did mess up when I didn't do any. Spaces. It was obsessive. So um, there's also, so comments. He's been having the students add comments mm -hmm. to their closing tags. And also like we looked down in the footer. That was nearly everything. He has closing footer left, closing footer right, and these are broken into two different divs, footer left and footer right. Um, one thing I would preface here is lots of IDs and classes are dash separated, or at least like camel case. I don't know. Chat, what do you think? I think it's always dash. I don't think you camel case them um, for different words, but I, I see where he was going with this, and mm -hmm. I actually saw sneak peeked ahead on what he's going to teach you Spooky. Um, because he wants part of the footer to be over on the left side of the page, part of the footer to be over on the right. Right. Yeah. No, Scott said no camel casing. Spacing and comments are cool. I do that. The use of IDs hurts. <laughs> Depends on what type of CSS architecture you're using. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I think the architecture right now at this point is, does it work? Right. Like, I don't think there's no. too much that goes into it. Uh, it's hot. Yeah. But I haven't, I've always seen dashed, so I don't know. That's unique if you. But anyways, um, so I don't have you. Have you learned the difference between IDs and classes? No, no. 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 I'm gonna take that look as <laughs> <and> no. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. So let's do this. I'm gonna. I what we need to do is have. Ugh. I did learn the difference between HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay, tell everybody. I mean, well, I, 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 you on the <laughs> I didn't I didn't know. Okay. Let me back up for a totally second. Totally putting you on the spot. Because I remember growing up, I mean you're so much older than me. You're like 30 years older than me. And growing I, up <laughs> What is eight, right? Yes. Eight years older than her, yeah. And knowing that you did stuff with computers and that was about it. And you would try to explain it, but I was just so lost. And then getting into it, learning all this mumbo jumbo and asking you today, because now I know what CSS and HTML is. That's the only thing we've covered so far. And you basically split it up as there's, there are three <laughs> different, no, 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 no. There are three different things on the web. They all work together. Mm -hmm. They're stacked on top of each other. But then, oh man, you call them flavors. There's flavors to each oh, of them. Yeah. CSS has SAS, uh, JavaScript has Ember, React, Angular, you know, all this mm -hmm. flavors, all your ice. toppings on your ice cream, but you got your chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, which is your HTML, mm -hmm. your CSS, and your JavaScript, yeah. and then all your toppings. And No, Maddie asked a really good question earlier. She was like, why is it HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? Like, why, are, why, aren't, why is there not, like, a competitor? Right. And I don't know. Like, whenever I started learning, like, those were the things that browsers used, and I feel like at one point in time, there were competitors, but I think html css and javascript one i maybe? say we and the browsers were like we're doing this and everyone was like cool this is what we're doing we put a team together and take over the internet who's with me <laughs> let's compete we're gonna write a new javascript <laughs> yeah oh. salt said flavor plays 
So, yes. Um, okay, thanks, Turtle Guy, for the logistics. Turtle said, because no one makes money off of any of them, so there's no point to a competitor. <laughs> Turtle, I feel like you're going to start a fight in the chat. <laughs> Just saying. We can only help. <laughs> Mm. So, let's yeah. Get, let's get to sussing. Sussing. CSSing. Those are all words. I don't think that's a verb. <laughs> They're words, Madison. Okay. Uh, so, let's see what your CSS is doing at this moment in our lives. Uh, I don't know why we have to have char set. I know that it's often odd, like there. It was. For your it was just. For your character set. And yeah. it's like letting the browser know. But, like, I think I've had plenty of. CSS files that didn't have that, or maybe maybe the frameworks I was using auto completed them. Yeah, no idea. But we're just gonna ignore that until chat tells us why you have to have character set in there. <laughs> uh, scrolling on down, I see that you made this comment for I what did. Is... I typed it with myself <laughs> <laughs> for a div, a class, and a body, or what what HTML or tags are. So these are all. I'm just gonna like add to your notes. Mm -hmm. uh, these are all selectors in CSS. So they're ways of like actually grabbing something to style it. Right. So what I want to do is I want to actually show you using all three of these to style something. Mm -hmm. um, you really don't need it. Yeah. See, Salt says we don't need it. I don't know why it's there anymore or why it I, – I don't know. Tell I, Professor Jenkins that. <laughs> I'm going to erase it, save it, and go back no, over. No, it just, it automatically yeah, was on there. there. Okay. Maybe Dreamweaver was like, you need this. I don't know. I don't, it's old school, no need now. Cool. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead. It looks like you gave this really ugly pink. Um, hey, he said to get creative. <laughs> I don't think he meant that kind of creative. <laughs> Focus uh, square. Madison's cute. Oh, my God. Is that your hubby? No, it's just. Um, a <laughs> random crush. <laughs> oh, DW puts it in by DW. Yeah, I think so too. I just don't, I could not remember because I think I remember at one point in time learning why it's there. Yeah. And then it was no longer needed and I forgot all about it. So it's, it's cute. It's cute to see it back in our lives. Hey, again. Madison has fans in the chat. <laughs> she has more fans than me. <laughs> Mom. Okay. Let's learn. First of all, I want you to clean this up because it's driving me batty. Clean what up? Um, okay, look at your body. Look at your body right now and tell me what's wrong with the curly braces. Uh, it's killing me. What it's are you talking about? That's what he twitch. told us to do. Well, oh. Remember the spacing? I'm going to throw up. No. no. <laughs> he didn't tell you to do Okay, so just like in HTML. Let's go back over to our HTML. Whenever, remember how we create like a UL and we have its closing tag and we like try to make sure it lines up yeah. for the tabbing. It's the same thing oh, with you're this. you're talking about my... So I would shift tab to. Ooh, why is your cursor right there? Where? What? What are you talking about? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, sis. Hold on. Where's your mouse? Hold okay. on. Hold on. What's... Hold on. I, I mean, like you want those to match up? No, I want it to match up with the start of the B. So like. All of it. Like that. And Wait, then, why? Um, <laughs> Trick question. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So see how the editor is making this line right here? Right. It's because body is opening at this point in the line, and it's going to close at this point in the line. Okay. So whenever you have, see how container? Yeah. It's doing the same thing, but your tag isn't matched up so just for cleanness sake yep and then also there's another thing that people like to do and they put a space between the selector and the opening curly bracket so it's just cleaned wow. up looks much nicer it's just for legibility a lot of people have things uh like software that'll do this for them right um but i i don't even know how to do it in dreamweaver um yes it looks cleaner salt said so, so far, you've added a really ugly background color. Okay, okay. <laughs> we can pick out a new one. Let's pick out a new one. So, I love this thing. It's called uh, Color Snapper. I think it's a, it's a it Mac is. thing. And I like, these are like literally colors that I've just randomly grabbed. Can you just like pick one of those? Well, any uh, of those. Oh, mine. Okay. No, no, no. Mine wasn't good enough. So, apparently, I'm not <laughs> that one. Okay, double click it. It'll copy it into your paste. And so, just erase where you're at. And then, let's paste it in. And for Maddie, uh, ask the question again about colors that you asked me earlier. Oh, no. I thought it was really good. Wait, let's see. 
I'm trying to... She's like, this is this question really <laughs> quickly? <laughs> hurry, hurry. Um, <laughs> no, I asked you how I was, I was making the connection. It was like a baby making a connection on how to pick something up. But making the connection of design going into the code. And I said, how do you put a Pantone into your code? Right. And so, um, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but I know that you can use RGB, RGBA, hex, which is this hexadecimal, and then I know there's also keywords. So let me show you real quick. First, let's refresh and see that gorgeous blue that you picked out. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Um, I don't know how, what what is it like. Uh, web safe color keywords. I literally don't. Uh, RGB hex, RGBA. Oh, and HSL. HSL. I forgot about HSL. Do you do you ever work with any of those, or do you only work with Pantone in design? RGB? Okay, that's it. <laughs> you so you've never worked with HSL either? I didn't know that was no. a web thing. No, Pantone, RGB, hex. We have. Yeah, color names. Yeah, that's I'm, it. I'm trying to find the list of color names. So if anybody knows a quick way of finding them, because I just wanted to show her web color names. Oh, look at this gorgeous chart. <laughs> you really got to work on that growl. <laughs> on that growl. Uh, I want a website. Website colors? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, sorry, I should have already had this. Okay. <gasps> so here are white, for instance, yeah. is all Fs. Um, RGB. RGB. There's also the hue, saturation, and light for the HSL. And then I have no idea what... CGA, kagag, kagag. <laughs> Beautiful. One thing to remember, Salt said, is that RGB and CKY are very different when it comes to print and web. Yeah, like comparing print, oh, print and yeah. web colors is like a, a nightmarish fun that I don't look like. I, I'm like glad I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> oh, thanks for that link. Oh, thank you, Turtle. <laughs> Turtle's so great. CSS colors. I love it. Okay, so instead of typing in that, I'm just going to do CSS colors. Oh, W3 schools. We had used their stuff a yeah? lot. Is it, help? is it helpful? Um, It's not not helpful. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is what I wanted. Thank you, Turtle. You're the best. So see how there's like blanched almond? You can actually go to your code and plug it in and just be like, I want some blanche I want blanched almond, almond in my wow. life. And then, she already knew. And then it's like, <laughs> Weird. that is one of my favorite color names, blanched almond. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and I made a list of, I kind of peeked ahead at her homework to see what they were going to be learning. And I want to go ahead and start styling some things. So I think first and foremost, let's look over here. Oh, we can change it back to the hex that you had picked out. No, but... no, 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 no. I want Blanche Dolman. And okay. if we don't use it, I'll be ticked. Okay. Um, so body, of course, is talking to everything, right? Everything is inside. So we go back over to your HTML. You have everything pretty much inside your body. Right. And so whenever, like, you're talking here to body and you're saying, hey, I want you to have this background color, that's why it's everywhere, versus... Where is your ID container? He's up here. What what's inside of it? Oh, everything. Every everything is also inside your ID container. Okay, cool. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it, Melissa. Uh, all right, let's do something fun. Uh, on your body. Okay. Go ahead underneath margin and give it some padding. So say padding. 10 pixels or the something. actual word padding yeah yeah that makes sense <laughs> padding give it some padding padding what what do you uh, want just just colon we're gonna do it everywhere so just colon and then give like 10 or 20 or 100 or i don't really care just pick a number um you did this you did so um with the colon there you did a semicolon you got it <laughs> sure sorry uh, that still is oh, sorry. there we go sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right now end it in a unit so px out of pixels for px never use pixels anymore i'm gonna need you to be kind we're using pixels today oh. it's it's what we're doing uh sem closing now you have to close it with the semicolon see how margin has colon and then right the unit and then semicolon and so it's going to want you to close it every time 
Uh, yes, I, I see. Is that a question, Scott? Maybe? I don't know what that, I don't know what that emote means. So if we refresh, um, nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? But Alyssa, why? Uh, one second. I just want to see. Oh, to the website. Why we don't see. Oh, it was there. I just wasn't scrolled up. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to go ahead and give container a background color of something that's not blanched almond. Mm, I'll think about it. All right. Mm -hmm. So background color, not blanched almond. At like colon, and then you can- like, Where's your Where's your thing? Uh, go over to the browser, and then I have it open in the tab at W3 Schools. You just like- <sighs> Wait, what is this for? Uh, it is, I think it's around, it's still around everything. It's it's for your container, your div container that is wrapping everything in your site. But I just wanted to show you the difference between them. So let's put a color and a color. We're doing aquamarine. Cool. Okay. So go back over to. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. Go back over to the code and type in, just start typing in aqua. Oh, yeah, because you don't need the thing. And then, yeah. And then close it out and then save. And then let's go back over to the browser and go to CSS Lab in the far left. And then refresh. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, God. It looks like so it looks like it's just on your header. Uh, I'm confused. My birthstone. Excellent. Whoa. Uh -huh. What month is that? Uh yes. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. I'm like, I don't know what March. it is. March. March. Uh March. Okay. Um, let's look. I'm a little confused because I thought the container here was wrapping everything. And it is. It is. Right. Hang hang on. I'm buffering. It is wrapping everything, but it's wait a second. Why don't those show up on Dreamweaver? Why doesn't what show up? Those little arrows that you can collapse and uncollapse. They might. I don't ha, ha like they might. I, I don't know. I don't use Dreamweaver. <laughs> Somebody in the chat tell us, does Dreamweaver have collapsible yeah. I lines? bet it does. I bet it's just a setting. I don't know. I bet it does. If they do. I just thought that was real nifty. <laughs> Salt said because it's Dreamweaver. <laughs> or um, So I like to do this where like I collapse the insides and then I can like see the structure of everything. Yeah. But I don't understand. So I'm pretty sure, like chat help me out. I thought this div ID here wrapped everything but it's only doing her header and i don't know why i'm trying to debug around a mic here you might have to enable it to be honest oh yeah it might be a feature that you can enable in dreamweaver hey nat natalie okay so we are sisters three and nat <laughs> nat nat is the third sister hi sis okay i was gonna figure out why the container not as talented but just as cute Wait, me? Natalie. What? <laughs> you too. I was like, who are we talking about? I have to debug this. I don't understand. Why? Turtle, why the fudge is container not around everything? I had like a teaching. Oh, it's got a height on it. <gasps> Whoa. What are you working in? <laughs> what are you working in though? This is, we're inside of Chrome. And with oh, all websites, oh, give me a oh, website, oh, oh, a website oh. that you were on this week to shop. Cause I know you love to shop. Mm, Bath and Body Works Bath. had their candle sale this week. Bath and Body Works. <laughs> so we're going to go to Bath and Body Works in every browser. You have a way to look at their code Okay. in the browser. So you can just right click and go to inspect. Oh yeah, I know. It seems very illegal to me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Because Zach will go into different stuff and he'll like take stuff out or whatever. And I'm like, I know that I'm the only one who like has this modification, but it seems so wrong. Oh, so illegal. Uh, this is, so this isn't not, a, it's not illegal. It should be. But so a lot of times when you're developing a website, you'll have this open to kind of debug or I even like to style elements in here. Or sometimes whenever there's like an annoying pop-up on a mm -hmm. website, you can just make that disappear. So it's super nice. But yeah, here you can see their divs. Look, it feels like that you shouldn't have access to this. This is like cheating. Like you could, I just. I think that's <laughs> what makes the web so amazing is that there's no way no, to this hide is, access no, to No, no, no. This it. is like... a portal into the dark web. <laughs> <laughs> this is, 
<laughs> no. You make me so happy. No. Oh my God. I like it. <laughs> a lot of old schoolers like myself used to view the source all the time. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I, it's what makes me fall in love with the it's what made me fall in love with the web because I was like, I can do what to what? I can do anything. Okay, so you had already, I think, he, I, I'm not sure where your teacher was going with this, so I'm just going to go ahead and comment out. Can you comment out that line for me? Comment out? Yes. Oh, I know how to do that. Wait, do I? Wait, wait, hold on. Isn't it this and then this? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are we sure? Well, that's for HTML. Oh, you're asking me to do no two things at once no i just want you to remember the hot key that i i taught you it's command command <gasps> don't say it i won't say it i won't say it i'm not gonna tell you wait how to comment out this line of code there you go yeet so uh i don't know what i don't know what he was doing or nor uh, i'm just gonna we're just gonna put that away for now and then we're gonna come back to it okay i i understand i was trying to teach you something and he was doing something weird okay oh, yeah. Um, so now if we come back, it lo- should look like I was expecting it to look. So what's happened is we gave the body this blanched almond yes. and we gave the container this aquamarine. Sure. And so you can tell the difference now because of the padding that we gave our body, which was, what did you set it to? A hundred pixels. So that's going to put a hundred pixels oh, You on opened the top. it up so it wasn't just that strip. Mm-hmm. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, well, and because in your markup, if you go back, container which is id container is the thing you're selecting yeah. is wrapping everything so it kind of makes sense like you see the aqua aqua marine around yeah. everything so we're gonna go ahead and leave that because i love it and i think it looks super great but what i want you to do is um right now the like see how your header is like reservations news the cafe the pool all of that is it's like touching sliced it's right so close. give that give your ID container, some padding as well. Just pick a number. It doesn't matter. But let's just get it away from the edge. Onto here? hmm Yeah. Do I get it? Uh, no. I would go to a new line. And then type out, like, padding. And then colon. And then pick pick a unit. Like, uh, that's semicolon. You got to do the... And then, I don't know. What are, what do you want? Oh, you want a lot? It's in a pixels? Bit. It's in pixels, yeah. I mean... Perfect. Semicolon. And then save it. And let's go back over to <laughs> salt said 20. We'll change it to 20 for you, salt. Okay. So now it's off the edge. Yeah. Something that's super fun. I don't know. Maybe it's not fun. Uh, is, oh, so remember how we talked about adding the space here? That space? Yes. There is also a rule of adding a space here. It is, it doesn't matter. Your code's going to run either way. But um, developers might eye twitch at you if you don't put it there. Mm. Just... Is there like a big book of like coding, a coding dictionary where it's like padding uh, means this? And then because you, I mean, last week we were typing in some not odd words, but I'm like, do people have to memorize? Yeah, I mean, the, you know what I mean? I don't know. Chat, is there a good place for definitions for these things css definition guide ooh definitive guide css uh, hang on i'm looking at it definitive google's great i know right i'm like <laughs> uh, i made notes i know and then i google things oh look there's this book with the fish wow. is that the the one you're talking about yeah maybe it's got to be it's got to uh, go away. Obviously, I want to be on Smile, but I'm not buying right now. Amazon, leave me alone. Uh, would MDN have something for that? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know, chat, if you have. But this is the suggestion right now. The CSS, the definitive guide. Eric Meyer, yes. And Estelle Wiles book. MDN, too. Mm. Yeah. I. Um, it's been so long because like, I have resources like this one. Uh, from Rachel Andrews, uh, a book apart, and this is for the new CSS layout, and it will walk you through, like, teaching you, like, the new CSS. Right. But as far as whenever you're first learning, that's why I don't have a good, yeah, I don't have a good one, but I will, I'll find one for you. Uh, or I'll make it. <laughs> All right, uh, myself. A book apart is great, yes. I love, I love a book apart. I love a list apart. Great company. Okay. Um, What were we doing? Right. I want so we talked about padding on our container, mm-hmm. and you get that like we gave that some room to breathe. 
But what if you don't want the same amount of padding, like on, on the top, the sides, right? So you actually, and you'll see it as we start typing, see this drop down list? Padding left, padding right. Right, right. And so you top can, bottom. so go ahead and give padding top like 20, like you said. Audrey Pixels. And then save. Oh, it, it had already no. closed it for you because okay. it loved you. Just text Turtle. He'll find out for you. <laughs> Does Madison know the box model? I don't know if I know the box model. Are we talking? Okay. Maddie uh, just started learning CSS this week. So <laughs> what you see on the screen is what Madison knows. Legit. Mm, I don't even think I know what's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So fun thing with CSS. Uh, do you know what CSS stands for? Like the acronym? Serial. Uh, sugar <laughs> super <laughs> yes intro blocks of CSS per yeah I feel like somebody's told me but I don't know uh oh. cascading style sheets oh and so the cascade comes in with see how you gave it padding of 50 pixels yeah and then you overrode that with padding top 20 pixels right so this is where the cascade comes in and there's two main things and forgive me chat if you hate the way that i'm teaching this but this is how i'm going to teach it there's two main things that affect the cascade the first is the order mm -hmm. so let's give blanch let's override blanched almond so we're going to say background color and then we're going to be like i don't know rebecca purple sad story behind that you should look into it one day oh. super sad like cry your eyes out for hours you had to pick it <laughs> <laughs> i always want to pay respect to rebecca so i All pick right. rebecca purple All right. All right. And she's a very little girl who is now not here anymore. Um, no. Okay. So uh, as you can see, we no longer have blanched almond. We have Rebecca purple. Mm -hmm. And that is because it came last. It overrode. So the browser is going to read from top to bottom. And it's going to be like, hey, you want blanched almond? Here's blanched almond. Then it hits the next line and it sees Rebecca purple. And it's like, <laughs> never mind. You want Rebecca purple. So last thing overrides. Also, the next thing is specificity. And so I'm going to make a little bit of notes down here for you. Cascading. Uh, CSS. You know what I don't like about coding? Tell me. I'll tell you. Tell me. <laughs> so whenever you're working in just the index file, yep. right? Yep. I'm Doing you. your thing. Yes. CSS ain't no flav of flav because you're working in an entirely different thing. It's not like you plug it in and you're still coding, you're still doing your thing, um, and then you're like, okay, I want to do the background and blah, 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 blah. You have to, you're like working on a whole new shindig. Okay, are you, are you saying that you're upset that we're in a different file? Yes. <laughs> I love you so much. There no, I think it should way... be like plugged into you, here. You oh, there is. You can. No, yeah. I just invented it. <laughs> I actually am a coding genius. Absolutely. Okay, okay, here. Okay, so you can. I don't even want to show you this. I there's. I love your teacher because he didn't show you. He Burn didn't the show witch. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so what you're suggesting is called inline styles. And let's go to W3Schools since you know about that. And let's go down. And so what you are doing was linking an outside style sheet. Right. But you can also use a style tag and just write all of this inside of your head okay so let's go over and show that shall we so inside your head tag um, below the style sheet that you linked mm. or above i don't really care just somewhere inside your head tag oh right here you mean mm -hmm. after yeah. it yeah sure okay um type style and tab <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was I was getting I was uh what's it called? <laughs> Are you on me actually tab? Why is it not doing it? I don't know why it's not auto completing for you. Hang on. Oh, I think it's uh VS Code's way of rebelling. I don't know why it wasn't. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't doing it. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do ba. Let's talk to our body again, and then we're gonna say the brackets. Uh, oh, the open fancy ones, mm -hmm. the mustaches, and then enter, and then let's give it uh, a new line. I mean, you can, you don't have to, but just for like my sake. Uh, background color. Now do you, yeah, yeah. And then do like red or something. I don't know. 
Oh my goodness. You're just type it. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, let's do this, Glenn. We love Kim <laughs> Okay, save it. Okay. Let's go back over to the browser. Which one? This one? Ooh. It's red. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you ready to learn? So why, why don't why don't why don't we do this in the first place? Why are we why are we creating a whole new shindig just to like why wouldn't we be working in the same Okay. So I'm trying I'm trying to turn in. I know the chat is like, why haven't you gotten there yet? Okay. <laughs> so I'm remember how I told too. you remember how I told you there's two parts to cascading. And the first part is the order. Order matters. Last on the page, last applied. Remember how I talked about that? So right. Rebecca Purple was the last one. The second one, and this one you could literally read a thousand books about, is called Specificity. Specificity. And if you hate the way I'm going to teach this, you can try better, but this is where we're going. Specificity nice. yeah. is the biggest deal in CSS. So the reason that Salt was angry that you were using ID container mm -hmm. is because it is more specific than if you had used a class of container. And so there are these levels of specificity. There's like a whole point system that I, I really honestly wouldn't even look into if I was you. But whenever you do something like ID or container, not only, I'm pretty sure, like at some point you can be so specific that it doesn't matter the order that you put it in. Like it, it's going to override it because it's so super specific. Right. So let me give you an example. Let's go ahead and look at, I should actually look in your code and not the browser. I'm just used to the browser. Um, so let's go ahead and grab the, this image. So go ahead and give that image a class of, uh, yeah, start typing class here and then say class equals, and then I don't know, what, what is the image? It's a clubhouse image, so just like. Is it, oh, does your not do that? Or you can. What? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. So you're not choosing a path. So what she's talking about is in Dreamweaver, when you start typing inside of source, source it'll, pull it'll pull up what images she has. Um, but what I'm talking about is you're we're just, just naming it. Right. We're just giving it an identifier of anything. So I yeah. have to capitalize it. It doesn't matter. Like whatever you do though, it will need to match. So okay. you did capital clubhouse. So over here, let's go ahead and call out that class of clubhouse with a dot instead of a bang. Uh, like that? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then clubhouse and then go ahead and do the curly brackets and let's give it something inter um it's an image so let's say like i think give it a width of like 10 pixels we want it to be whatever our change is we want it to be really noticeable so we're gonna make it super tiny um and then save and then let's go back over here and find our clubhouse image perfect do you see how tiny that clubhouse image just got she's cute <laughs> she's she's so tiny mm -hmm. okay so now um I'm trying to think of the best way to teach this so you just gave this a class okay. you could have also given it an id clubhouse um and that id is going to be even more specific right. another way of being more specific is by listing out its path so our clubhouse is inside of a div with an ID of feature. Right. So you can even say div feature. And so literally this is only going to style clubhouse image. Well, really, it's only going to style things with a class of clubhouse right. inside a div of feature. And this is getting even more specific okay. by adding in all of yeah. these selectors. And so um, the reason that people don't often do inside the style tag is because this is almost as specific as you can get. Right. Meaning if I go and I try to override your color, your background color of crimson, if you'll notice, we have a background color of Blanche Almond and a background color of Rebecca Purple, but neither of them are showing up here. Right. And that's because this has the last say. Right. And so Literally. It's just hard for people to come on your project, to come on your team and to add styles whenever you've already been the most specific as possible. Yeah. And it can get pretty messy in here. You can imagine there's like style sheets with 
thousands of lines of styles. So that on top of then having to scroll down and find your markup, yeah. it's just a nightmare. And so people prefer to split it out. I get it's like another layer like of complication. It's like hard to, so you can absolutely do it here, okay. uh, especially with small projects, but it is more specific. And so then it's kind of mean to other people who want to add on to your yeah. styles or even to yourself sometimes. Um, so yeah, got a dip for a meeting. Bye salt. Bye salt. Um, but yes. Uh, so let's, I want to look at this. We are at the hour mark. We're just going to kind of go until we don't anymore. Such an angular dev teaching inline CSS. Did you see that? Right. <laughs> um okay with this speed going css and javascript soon yes <laughs> well actually yeah next next week next week. no next week? this week <gasps> yes this week <laughs> oh my god <laughs> she's learning javascript this week so we really got to get on it we really <laughs> got to get on it okay so i'm gonna remove the inline style that we we talked about and did and i'm gonna go back over to this and look at what madness we have done and let's go ahead and get rid of that I think Turtle was correcting me earlier, and that's totally fine. Um, okay, uh, so some of the things that your teacher wanted to talk about was mm -hmm. height and width. Okay. So we already did the width yes. on this. Let's give it a, like a, a more natural one, of, like 100 or something. I don't know. What do you mean? Uh, well, you know, it's like nobody can, what do you mean? Nobody can see that. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, perfect. That's beautiful. This is ugly. <laughs> this is straight up ugly. <laughs> it's it's going to get there. It's going to get there. I mean, it's... this doesn't look it much better. It looks like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is floating. Let's do floats, shall we? I don't know what a float is. So right. let's go down. Well, or should, okay, should we do floats first or fonts first? <gasps> we got to tackle both. Oh, I did. That was my question. That well, I forgot. What was your question? How how would you do a font encoding? I mean, no. I, hold on, hold on. You don't get it to decide. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Okay, uh, let's go to Google Fonts and let's talk about it. Google Fonts is the best place to learn about fonts. I really like Adobe Fonts. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be biased. <laughs> Adobe, hire me. <laughs> Adobe hire me. <laughs> no, remember when we were in London and we met that met that lady who did a talk and she worked for Adobe and oh Bill was like, go talk to her. And I was like, I can't. She's a celebrity. I can't. Oh, I yes. Even it. She's talking about Bill Odom. If you know him in the Angular community, dude is amazing. He has wisdom. <laughs> I can smell it on him. <laughs> he does. He's so smart. He really, he really is. He teaches an Angular boot camp, and he's very, very smart. But she was, she hit it off with Bill. Okay, um, so we're on Google Fonts. You can use Adobe Fonts. You can use whatever font you want. Yeah, you can make right. your own. Let's pick Roboto. I think he – I don't remember which one he used. So we're just going to pick Roboto if you're fine with that. I love it. Um, and then we're going to pick, like, a chunky and a thin. So let's okay. – we're going to say – that one is the thin one, and let's pick a chunkers. This one, okay. Um, so what just what what just happened? Mm -hmm. I love this is the reason why I love love Google Fonts is because a they have a ton of open source fonts that anybody can use. Okay. Um, I'm sure you learned this in print. Aren't there rules around like what fonts you're allowed to use? Like, don't yeah. you, don't, oh yes, don't you have to like own them? There's a there's a billion rules on. And it's the, it's the exact same with the web. You have to own the font or own, like, a license to the font in order to use it in different ways, right. commercially, just, like, privately. Yeah. And so Google, thank the Lord. It's like almost everything's illegal, so it's fine. <laughs> just like, they, like, man, I swear, they don't even check it. You turn it in, and they're like, mm, you're plagiarism. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't play that. I, I swear. swear. <laughs> so uh, Google has a ton of open source fonts that you can okay. just use. And then their website is nifty because you can say, I want this style. I want this style. And then you'll see right here. And I'm going to like zoom for the chat. It creates this link tag. If you'll remember, remember how I was talking to you about how link tags uh, are for the style sheets, how they, right. that's how you link up your CSS. Well, they can also be used for linking in a font. And so this link tag, I'm going to copy it and paste it. Did you just open? So this is this is just the website that you opened up. Yeah, I like, see. I'll show you what I did. I literally was like Google fonts. Right. 
and then I clicked on the first result and then I just like went I started picking a font so like you can pick any of these and then it's down here you select a style once you start selecting a style it's gonna oh you're not really in it though what do you mean? You're not really in the website. You're just oh, no, grabbing I, that. Yeah, I don't have the inspector open or anything. This is a service that you they- You mean the dark web? Yeah, I'm not in the dark web, right, right, AKA right, right. the inspector panel. <laughs> I love you Can so you much. tell I don't know what the dark web is? Oh my is. God. <laughs> <laughs> Tur- Turtle, come here. Turtle, I don't know come what here. It is. I've always wanted to get Turtle on stream. Come say hi to the viewership. Hi. This is my husband, Turtle. Say hi, Turtle. Hello. Hello, uh, viewership. Yes. Goodbye, Turtle. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so no, I'm not in the dark web, aka the source code um, mm-hmm. inspector. Uh, so what I want you to do is go ahead. Turtle looks good. <laughs> grab that. Copy that. Mm-hmm. And then go and put that link tag below your other link tag in your HTML. That's not it. It is. You're just at the bottom oh, of I am it. it. And I have them collapse Where? too. So it looks, you're at the bottom. You just scroll up. You're, you just scroll you up. You said at the top? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I said below the Right other here. Where do you down. want it? Around. Anywhere. It can go above or it doesn't matter. Like, Around. <laughs> that's perfect. That's perfect. Ooh. Yeah. See, okay. That's kind of Here's ugly. another question. I'm going to need you to fix it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let's say we just slap her in there, right? Yeah. What about the spacing for that? Like, hmm. I feel like. My teacher has spacing all over the place. Yes. And does it not matter because it's already closed? So it's like it's done reading that and yeah. you can have whatever's so bro- crammed up next to exactly. do it. The browser doesn't care. Like okay. the spacing is all for developers. So as long as you have, like you said, as long as you have closed. kind of lazy. <laughs> I'll be honest. As long as you have closing tags, okay. the browser doesn't It'll care. It'll be fine. Yes. Okay. But I'm just going to put that on its own line for readability. So what Google just did was it gave you this that's linking to their fonts.gstatic.com. Right. And then it's also linking to this one. I honestly don't know what this is for. I, like, have no idea why they give us two links. Please feel free to explain in the chat. But I know this one is pointing directly at that font that we just So is this just going to apply it to whatever is in the same? Not yet. So what it's doing is giving us access to it. But okay. if you'll look down here, CSS rules to specify families. You actually have to specify, I want everything to have this font family. Right. So go ahead and copy that line, that font family line. And let's go back over to our CSS now. And styles. Uh, or CSS, this one? Yep. <gasps> oh, my God. Bring it back. It's totally fine. Just go over to this. Oh, it's not. And then double click it. Oh. It's like right there. And then just close that back again. It's just I just have that closed for the stream. Very scary. Uh okay. So now scroll up to the top and let's give like just everything in our body that font. So paste. I'll just do it at the bottom of there. Yeah, that's fine. And now save. Okay. And let's go back over to our website and you should see now watch on the refresh when you refresh. Do you see how the font changed? Wow. So um that is how you change font family. But if you'll notice, we chose, remember how I said we're going to choose a thin guy and, and I'm actually going to turn guy. this back down to normal. Sorry, chat. Um, so we chose this one yep. and then we went down and chose the chunky one. Okay. It's right now defaulting to this font of 100. Right. So what you can also do is say below, below that line, type in font dash weight. And then colon, and then we're going to give it, I think it's, what was it? Seven? Try seven. What? 700. <laughs> oh, not seven. Okay. Sorry, say. Oh, not pixels. So uh, did they talk about this in graphic design? Talk about what? Font weights. And this might be different from like print and web. So I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, we're using side. this one. Yes. Bold or 700. So you can type in bold or you can type in 700 for font weight either one or you can type in 100 or thin same with any of these um but i don't know if i don't know if in print they use the same like ling- like lingo for font weight they don't no what i mean we vaguely went over that but it, but it's not a big it's not a thing that you talk okay no. okay so let's go back over and then refresh our page so now everything should be chunky. Mm. So 
well, I don't think we want everything to be no. that chunky. And I actually think what we need is an in-between, like a normal, like regular. Uh, like a 400. So whenever you do this, if you'll yeah. notice in the link, it's just changing the URL. That's what I was going to say. I was like, can't you just like quickly type, yeah. sat, like fix it real yeah. quick because it's the same. So literally here we can just be like, we also want to include 400. And I think they separate them by semicolons. So if we save that. And if we go back and instead of, where was it? Right there. Let's just do this. Oh, actually, to you can just say normal. Right. Like, you can use the keywords as well. So let's go back. And then it unbolded these guys. Okay. Um, and then by default, if you'll notice, you're like, wait, but this is already, like, that's bold, right? Like, um, so if we go and inspect, you'll see that, the H3 has font weight bold, sure. and that's given by user agent style sheet. Yeah. You don't have a user agent style sheet. What that means is across all browsers, they have default styles that just happen, and you can either roll with it or you can override it. Okay. So, um, but that's so sometimes whenever you see a style and you're like, what the garbage? I didn't give that bold. It's because the browser is giving headers bold because it thinks, hey, this is a header. It needs this basic style. Right. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and um, let's choose what kind of headers are you using? Do you remember? Like H, I see an H3. Do you have any H2s? Do you remember? I think so. Wait. Oh, yeah. Mm, There's one. Yeah. And then do you have any H1? No. <gasps> you don't have any H1? We only use two and three. Why reservations is so small? It's because it's an H3. Why did he make us do that? I don't know. Because <laughs> he's the one who was like, okay. I, I don't. I, 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 I like don't. how <laughs> my uh my voice for my teacher is like <laughs> Lady okay, Our let's give H3? you need you, you're gonna need an H1. We everybody needs an H1. Whoa. So let's go to where's your image? There's that image. What should we do in H1 though? <coughs> the name of this website is for like a it beats me. <laughs> I think it's a resort called is the striped it? umbrella. Yeah. Um so what oh, yeah, because we had to do like I would map for it and it was like, yeah. I would yeah. legit just like inside of this div that has our logo, or I guess below that div, but inside the header. Why is that there? Mm, okay. I would just right here, give it an H1. Oh, <laughs> I forgot you had a comment. Below your comment. Uh, so I'd give it an H1 and just like give the H1 the name of the resort. So what is it? The striped umbrella. Yeah. I would give it that. And then um, let's save that. And I'm a little confused because I feel like I don't know why you have reservations up in your head. Like closing. I feel like if, if this were me, I feel like this uh -huh. belongs not in my header. I feel like it belongs. Yeah, that's why. I feel like it belongs. Something's got to be wrong. Some, Something was messed up. Somewhere else. For now, like we'll look at the homework at the end and it fix look, it. it doesn't look but right. let's put it where I think it belongs. And then I would also. Striped is misspelled. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Go back before refreshing. Is it okay? Well, we, we hadn't refreshed. No, so I know. I know. I was. I, was uh, I didn't know if I had spelt it wrong. Mm, I see. Okay, so you've got this H1. We've got this reservations, but we just moved it outside of the header because I don't know why that was in the header, but we'll find out later. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and make an, a random H2 as well and say, uh, what did I just do? I don't know what I just did. Um, Anything. Okay. Uh, so now if we go back over here, yeah. see how the browser by default, this is an H1. This is an H2. This is an H3. Right. They have not only different font sizes, but they might even have, well, I think they all have the same weight, but they are given like different importance by default. A lot of times, hierarchy, hierarchy. <laughs> uh, a lot of times people like will override these defaults. Yeah. I love to use, I don't know. Uh, I love to use the Eric Meyer reset. Um, and what this does is it goes, I literally just copy and paste this into like every project that I've ever done. And what it does, you don't have it memorized. <laughs> Good Lord. No. Uh, what it does is it literally strips out all these styles. Okay. Um, let's, 
well, I'll show it to you later. I was gonna say, let's do it now, but I want to get to floats. So we've talked about headers. We've talked about fonts. Yep. Um, I want you, why don't you go ahead and give all of your H ones just for kicks and giggles. Um, so below this type H one and then curly bracket H one and one and enter and let's give all of them a font weight of like 100. High anonymous 1337. Uh, perfect. Save. And let's go back over and look at our H1. So now it has got that skinny font. Um, just to kind of bring home, okay. like, yeah. so you were selecting all H1. So any H1 on the page should get a font weight of 100. Um, so we've talked about font family. Let's do font size. Let's make that H1 massive. So below font weight, do uh, font size. Oh, sorry, you can take that either way. Uh, yeah, font dash size. Okay. And then let's do, like, Large, large, or medium, small, <laughs> extra large. 80, mm. let's do 80 pixels. Okay. Let's just see what that looks like. Save it, and let's go back over to the browser and refresh. And <gasps> it's massive. Whoa. It's massive. She's beautiful. Okay. Um, so now um, we've talked about font weight, font size. Let's do some floats. So your teacher had you do, if we go down to the footer, the footer, there you are. Your teacher had you add these IDs of footer left and footer right. The, oh, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. It's the strip in brown. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it might be, right? Who knows? Striped, stripped? Who, who knows what kind of umbrella this <laughs> is? <laughs> okay. Um, so what we're going to do, if we go down to our footer, where is it? Okay, so here you'll see um, that you have your footer left and right, but they're kind of on top of each other. Right. So we're gonna talk about how to make those go right and left. Um, are you assuming that the are you assuming that umbrella's occupation? We are, we are. Okay, so let's first of all select footer left and footer right. So um, ID, uh, so the bang. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, ID, you select IDs with that little hashtag. Yes, 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 yes. So if it's a class, you use the dot. If it's class equals clubhouse, you right. say dot clubhouse to pull that selector out. If it's an ID, you hashtag. say hashtag that name. So we have a hashtag of footer dash left and footer dash right. So do both of those on two different lines. Yep, now go down to the next line and do the footer dash right. And let's go ahead and do, we're gonna do some curly braces on these guys races and then give some space here space there so now um we're gonna space that too just for looks and kicks and giggles on footer left give it a background color so that we can see see it with our special eyes what do we want anything <laughs> anything everything make it a... oh, perfect now <laughs> give a uh, footer right a background color mm -hmm. what do we want <laughs> <laughs> Something beautiful. <laughs> Something gorgeous. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go back over and refresh. Perfect. What are you clicking to refresh on your keyboard? Command R. Yeah, that was a text. R for refresh. That's <laughs> just. Why are, okay, the colors about on these shindigs. Explain. What? Why is home and about looking like we're hovering over it and the rest aren't? because the browser has default colors for links that have been clicked on before. I have clicked on home and about before. Why? Uh, it's, Why? It's, it's, it's called visited. Uh, and so you can actually say, it's just a setting. Anchor visited color for the font color. Okay. And then we're gonna say white. So it's it's a way for because users it's kind of like this like behind the scenes like in the back of your brain like I don't know if you've like ever it, it's usually not that drastic okay. but usually a link that's visited has a little bit of a different state sometimes some I mean modern websites I don't know like as far as hover yeah they always you can do on our anchors when we're hovering I want them to be sorry I'm like working around the mic. Uh, I want them to be Rebecca Purple. Actually, let's give it a background. 
color of gray. So this on hover now, they're getting that. And so that's one of the things that the reset takes care of. It actually takes away the visited completely. Okay. And then it let it's kind of giving you a blank slate to style from scratch. But yeah, again, a lot of times whenever you see things and you're like, I didn't style that, it's probably the browser giving it to you for free. Thanks. <laughs> I wanted it. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I wanted it to look like. How did you know? Okay. Um, so these are full width. They are what's called block level elements. Block level elements by default take up the full width, but we can always specify a different width. So for both of these, I want you to go ahead and give them a width of something. I don't, I don't know what do you want, like like maybe a hundred pixels or something. I don't see them in front of that. Nothing. Nope, that's perfect. Um, but I want you to do the same thing for footer right. Line forty six fixed. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. I I know that tabbing is important, and I know that spacing is important, but um, I don't want to overwhelm her by pointing out every little syntax error. So, forgive me if I'm just blazing right past things. We're just we're just exploring. Welcome to the channel. If you're here for the first time, this is my sister Madison. Hi. Learning CSS, uh, HTML, and JavaScript this month. So, woo. Uh, so you gave both of them a width of. 100 pixels. So now we should see that background color shrink whenever we refresh the page. Um, so let's go ahead and change it to like. Did people actually design like this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. This is okay. Let me show you. <laughs> let me show you something real quick. Okay. So I have this. I have this thing called One Tab, and I'm going to go and open, and then I'm going to restore those. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back over here. So I like pulled up this form on Dribble. Okay. And then remember that form I was showing you earlier? Yeah. I was literally like just piece by piece, like aligning those things, changing that color, aligning those labels. Like, and it just like, it's like, it's, have you ever seen like a piece of art and like you watch somebody like color and draw and you're like, wow, this is ugly. And then, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it clicks and you yeah. see what they're drawing yeah. and it's beautiful. Yeah. It's the exact same thing with web design. Like you're slowly going to chip away at all of these really hideous pieces yeah. until all of a sudden you're looking at a professional website. Like it's, it's yeah. very, I know we were working on, I don't know. I think it was in dimensions, but, uh, we were literally drawing the boxes and picking the color and taking away the stroke and doing this because we were just designing it. We weren't mm -hmm. actually coding it. And now that I'm seeing, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, you're not actually like doing this on purpose, right? No. <laughs> okay. So Scott asked, are you streaming every day at this time? Uh, I stream every Wednesday at this time. It's called UI Wednesdays. Today's a special day because I had Maddie on, but if everybody loves it, I'll force her to come on very special i'm two miles away <laughs> <laughs> i'll force her to come on other shows um but i changed the width to be a little less uh tiny hi sam our pups in here to visit um so now let's go ahead and we're going to use floats and yes yeah, what's a float? yes uh, chat before you blow up her curriculum is using floats so that is why i'm using floats <laughs> don't hate don't hate. Don't hate, but you can't appreciate. I just can't teach her something that she, the curriculum is not going to teach her. So after this month, I will teach you the way that I do things. <laughs> uh, Turtle guy floats all the time. So you're in his camp. It's totally fine. But we're going to tell uh, footer left, if you want to enter a new line, we're going to go ahead and say float colon. And then we're going to say left. You said flapat, <laughs> which is something Listen, I'm typing at an angle. Right? I know. I know. You can move it over too also. Um, so yeah, say float and then space. Oh. Yeah, no, that's it. That was what you wanted. You were, you did it. You were totally, no. you were totally that, right. Yeah. And then say left and then close it out. And then we're going to do the same thing on. Yeah. Yep. Right? Yes. And then we're going to do the same thing for footer right, but we're going to say float right instead of left. Okay. What does that mean though? It is uh, a way of moving elements around on the page. So we're saying, I want you to float over to the left and I want you to float over to the right. It literally means what it says. Yeah. I hate that. I know. <laughs> and there they are. And then aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they? There. She's, she's over on the left. She's over on the right. I wouldn't say they're floating, though. I think that's kind of misleading. But So float has two connotations. Um, it is 
it's not just sorry the antlers are headaching me so you can tell it's abandoned if you want Ooh. um it's not just about floating over to the right and left but it's also if you'll notice see how the blue background is no longer encompassing them oh, okay i get it it's because they have been pulled up and out of the page flow they have been floated out of their page flow so um ahem aquamarine oh sorry <laughs> the aquamarine is no longer around them but yes it's a quick way of, they were pulled toward away. and turtle um do i just need to clear the aquamarine is that is that the next lesson in this journey i think that's <laughs> let's try it Crazy. Overflow hidden, but what about clear? Because I saw he was doing clear, and I was like, why are we teaching clear at this moment in our lives? Mm. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to get back to you on the clear. Because okay. <laughs> it was definitely, he was not clearing something that was underneath them. Maybe, oh, I think he was floating something else on the page. So. Was he not being clear? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> the puns. Okay, let's go to our container. That's aquamarine. Ach. What marine and say oh no wait what why are you doing that oh you don't I we love the aquamarine <laughs> okay. uh new line and what we're going to give our container overflow so say overflow colon all right and then hidden and then semicolon and then we're gonna save and we're gonna go refresh our page so now our aquamarine is fully encompassing our footer left and our footer right um, because we told it to have its overflow hidden, which, Turtle, I don't know, really know how to explain that. No, no one does. Okay. <laughs> Turtle said no one does. Uh, feel free to comment in the chat if you do because I just know that anytime I'm having issues with things that I've pulled up out of, like with if I'm floating something – Oftentimes, I'll have to overflow hidden its parent to make sure that it doesn't have that weird blip. Right. Um, but I wouldn't okay. stress out about it too much. Um, honestly, I kind of liked that. I, I was getting kind of like psychedelic vibes with these like overlapping yeah, colors. I love, it. <laughs> I love it. I was kind of like, oh, we should like lean into that. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know oh my gosh. But yeah, um, ask Maddie any questions. Again, she's going to full sell for graphic design, but this is her first month diving into web development and we do hope that she falls in love with it so much that she comes that over that i to... completely switch course and yeah no and then you just become a web for two more years no no <laughs> just be a web developer like don't even school you know like you just you just develop the rest of your life no i'm fine with you being a designer because i need i need that side of my life like i don't design so I it's think, cool I it's think, fine i think you need to dive into the design oh my gosh you've said that before I and just, i don't know why i just gotta feel it yeah <laughs> I now that I'm learning more about code, though, I'm more like, yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> <laughs> I I just can't. I don't have. I don't have a artistic, artistic, anything. Creativity. I just can't. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. I never do front end, so these streams are nice. Oh, that's awesome. What do you do, Scott or S, Cod? <laughs> Madison, shut up. These she, names are tripping you up. I girl. always get so tripped up by usernames and I stress out because I'm like, am I saying it wrong? I'm sorry. Oh, it's um, not their real name, so don't be like, they can't, they can't be too offended about it. Well, if I called you <gasps> Cast Wall real. Snacks, then you probably get offended. <laughs> oh, but no, it was really fun. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. Uh, apparently, People want to see more of you, so that's cool. That's cool. Let's party. But yeah, I'll be on next Wednesday. I'm doing computer science, specifically .NET. Nice. I'm actually starting in the new year a series called JavaScript Girl in a .NET world where I'll be like diving into .NET and learning all about that ecosystem and interviewing a lot of like really cool influencers on that side. So watch out for that. That'll be on Code It Live. But next Wednesday, I will be on and I will be building out a deck of cards with CSS in the browser. Um, that'll be prepping for a signal R stream week that I'm doing in January with my good friend, Ed Charbonneau. So check us out next Wednesday, uh, 3 PM Eastern on code it live and Maddie, any closing words for the follow Madison at casual snacks? No, this is fun. This is helpful, but <laughs> no closing words. No, clo <laughs> that's, that's all no, that's all no folks. All right. No, but seriously, I love you all. Thank you all for joining in the chat and making it a really fun episode today. So. Bye. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>